Hi guys and welcome to another Devi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to be using the Divi Supreme Modules plugin. Great addition to the Divi theme itself. And we're actually going to use what they call scheduled or scheduled modules. Which means you can have a module show up for a period of time. And then have it disappear and have another one show up for a duration. Now to get things started we need to go to our dashboard. Once you've got Divi Supreme Pro enabled you'll have a little menu item here. Just left click on it and it'll bring you to this page on the general settings. Want to make sure that you've got enable scheduled element on section row columns and module enable purple and save the changes. Okay, so I've got a countdown timer on this page and it's counting down till 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. And at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, I want this to disappear. And I want another module or a row to appear with another 24 hour timer and some products that we can sell. So let's get started. Let's enable the visual builder. Once enabled, we can go into our module. I'm actually going to go into the row. You can do this with the module, the row, or the section, which is the blue one up there. So I'm going to go into the little cog for the row. And now that we've checked this switch to enable scheduled events, if we go to our advanced tab, go down to visibility, you'll see a little switch now that says use scheduled event. So we can flip the use scheduled element on and we want to decide what we want to do with it. Well, it's showing at the moment, so I want to hide it tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. So I'm going to say hide and tomorrow morning and we'll take the hour up to 10. Of course, 10 p.m. would be 22. It's military or 24 hour clock. But we want 10. If you want to change the minutes, you can do so with the minute slider at the bottom there. And that's all we need to do for that one because we'll just keep it rolling for the time being. And we want to hide it tomorrow at 10 a.m. So we're good to go with that one. Now, when it disappears at 10 a.m. tomorrow, I want a new one to pop up with a 24 hour sale countdown and some products. So let's just clone our little countdown timer we'll use the same one we'll go into the module itself and we'll say 24 hours that it starts today now we want it to go from 24 hours from the 20th at 10 a.m. so we want it to stop 21st at 10 a.m. great or count down to 10 a.m. the next day which is exactly right but we actually want to schedule it in a minute when we add our products to only be there for 24 hours so we got the timer sorted let's just add a little shop module a little dark one add another module TV brings all these light gray ones to the table and there's plenty of them to build just about any site there's an extra dozen if you've got products and WooCommerce installed. The dark blue or purpley ones are from the Divi Supreme modules, which we're using to do this schedule today. So I want to add a little shop module, a Divi shop module. I'm going to use my sale products, which is a category of sales. And I want to show eight products. Fantastic, there they are down below. So we'll have those on sale. Let's just change that badge from that orange to this pink color here. I've got a free chrome color picker up here. Just going to click on the pink, get that color, close it up. And we'll go to our design tab. I just want to go down to the sale badge. Here's the sale badge color. Click on there. Put the hex code in. Great, they're pink, same as the rest of our site now. Now we'll save that. Now what we want this to do is only appear at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and only appear for 24 hours when the sale runs out at 10 o'clock the next day. 
to make this easier I'm going to wrap this in a row so I'm just going to clone this top row here I should have cloned the module instead of the row and let's delete that and that from the top one now let's delete this from the bottom one now we've got two rows original in the one which is already scheduled to disappear tomorrow at 10 and our new row if we go to the advanced tab to visibility we want it to appear to show we want to show this row tomorrow the 20th at 10 a.m. fantastic but we only want to show it for 24 hours use between date and time flip that to yes and let's set this the next day to 21 or the 21st and again at 10 a.m. so it's only going to show or be visible from the 20th at 10 a.m. to the 21st at 10 a.m. which is 24 hour save our changes there that's it we set up our two rows one to be here and disappear and another one to to appear tomorrow Let's save our changes and once we exit the visual builder only the one we set to be visible should be visible now let's exit the visual builder and there we go there's our little countdown to tomorrow's sale and at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning this one will disappear and our other one will pop up with our sale items all ready for people to shop for the next 24 hours so i hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com Thanks for watching. Have a great day.